Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Wen Jiagao, and you can also call me Wendy. I'm originally from China, Beijing, and I'm going to attend undergraduate industrial design program this fall. And today, I'm glad to show you my three design works of wall decorations in the leaf theme, and it's also in minimalist aesthetic. So to begin with, I want to ask you a question. How many of you have at least one piece of pure black or white clothes? If you have one, please raise up your hand. Sure. Yeah? <laughs> okay. So I see most of us have at least one piece of them. Although we have different tastes of dressing styles or something, but why we all have one piece of them? I think that's one, the reason why we all have them is because the attractiveness of the minimalism. So minimalism is a style that uses only a few patterns to show a particular effect. And as I also mentioned in my research paper, I think why minimalism can be popular these days, especially in our dressing styles or in design areas, it's because minimal style objects can also easily fit into other environments or fit in our different styles. And also, to my own understanding, I think um, minimalism style is actually a reduction of the, all the distracting things from the essence of an object. So my real intention in doing these artworks is to practicing minimalism as a method to extract all the distraction from the essence of the object. So my real intention is to emphasize the essence of the object. So I chose beef as the medium to practicing minimalism. And here you can see I made all three artworks. And all of these are actually um, help to emphasize the different features of the leaves. So you can see we uh, they em they emphasize the features of leaf of their shapes, their color, and the scent or smell of it. So I will explain explain them one by one for you. So from left to right, the first one you can see is a uh, main branch and it spread out four little twigs. On each of them, I attached uh, leaves on them, and as for the last one, I used a thread to connect the leaf to the branch. So each of the leaf I, and the branch, I collected them from the prep campus, and they are all from the uh, same sycamore tree. Uh, so you can see from the left one, the, the top on the top of the tip, tip of the twigs, there are two new green leaves and I collected them from the trees. And this one is a, a mature darkened green leaves with a fruit attached to it. The third one, and I also collected from the tree, it was a colorful autumn leaves. And for this one, it was a fallen leaf that I collected from the ground and I suppose that is from the same sycamore tree. Well, and I all painted them into the white color. And as for the second one, you can see it was a watercolor painting painted on a watercolor paper. And you can see there are nine little uh, round circles patterns located in the baby, baby lines. And the process of doing it is first to paint watercolors on the leaves. And then I took a piece of paper and I cut a brown hole on it. Then I put a hole on the watercolor paper and then I stamped the leaf onto the watercolor paper. So there's some the, uh, stamp, the stamp structure of the leaves and the color are here shows on the watercolor paper. And you can see there are four color patterns and they show in a sequence. So there are light green, darkened green, reddish uh, brown or orange brown, brown, and here are dark brown. They are located in the sequence. And you can see this is the third one. It was apparently a white painted bottle, and it's hand in a handmade 
rope basket. And it may be confuse you a little bit how this could be related to the leaf. So actually I put the smashed leaf inside the bottle. And they are all from the same sycamore tree. And so the main reason I'm making this is to show the features of the leaf. As you can see in this one, I paint all the leaves into white color because I think color could be a distraction from us to see the original shape of the leaf. So when the old, all the leaves is whitened out, you can clearly see the change of its shape from the new green leaf to the fallen leaf. You can see clearly it's smooth and flattened and the change from left to the right, up to down, it became curl and became, you can see the old curl leaves. And so that is actually representing the circle of life. And the fruit is especially important because it emphasizes the reproduction part of the life process. Well, and let's take a look at this one. So why am I placing this nine circles in the sequence of these wavy lines? It's actually because I want to use the wavy line to use as a metaphor of the cardio diagram. So you see the cardio diagrams is going up and down, and this really shows the rhythm of life. And I think you can all guess why I put the color patterns in this sequence of light green, dark green, brown, red, brown color, and the dark brown. It's actually representing the four seasons. And they look, they show in the sequence of summer, uh, spring color, summer color, autumn color, and winter color of the leaves. And this is actually a part of the whole life cycle round and round. And so as for this one, um, why I remove all the visual things because I think the smell or scent is the most easily forgotten feature of everything. Because the visual things can be very disruptive, so I remove all the visual things and only put the smell or the scent of the leaf in this bottle. So if you are interested in what the smell of the leaf, you can come up and and experience it. Is there any volunteer want to please? So if you are interested you can all come. Oh it's Yes? So in the beginning, you imagine something really interesting. 
Mm -hmm. Mini medicine, that's a really fascinating topic, I guess. I'm actually a big fan of it. Mm -hmm. And what I put in 